Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the causes of water insecurity around the world. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Access to water is unequal across the globe, with many regions suffering from water insecurity. We're going to start off the video by considering the different water sources available to us across the globe. Our water comes from three main sources. Our first source are aquifers. This is groundwater that is stored in porous rocks below the earth's surface and is extracted by drilling boreholes or wells, which bring the water to the surface, usually by a pump. Secondly, we have reservoirs. These are artificial lakes that form when a dam has been constructed and the valley behind it flooded. They are used to store water which is then transferred to settlements nearby for domestic, agricultural and industrial use. On the screen we have a photo of the Craig Gok Dam and Reservoir in the Elan Valley in Mid Wales. This supplies water directly to cities such as Manchester and Birmingham. Finally we have rivers and lakes. Water can be transferred from these using a network of pipelines and canals to where it is needed, or it can be extracted directly by local people for domestic use or by farmers for irrigation. But there are factors that affect the effectiveness of these water sources across the globe. Our first cause of water insecurity is climate. This is the main factor that affects the availability of water across the world. Areas that are hot and dry will struggle to meet the demand for water, such as those in semi-arid regions in Africa like the Sahel, where millions of people live and depend on the land for their livelihoods, and they find it hard to make, meet their basic needs. These areas frequently suffer from drought, leading to desertification, which you can see on screen and has been covered in previous videos. But there are also hot and dry areas in HICs where the climate means that the demand for water increases. For example, Las Vegas in the Nevada desert in the USA. This city is surrounded by desert but needs huge amounts of water in its many luxury hotels, as well as to keep its golf courses lush and green. In addition, states like Texas and Arizona are dominated by farming but receive little rain, so they use huge amounts of water for irrigation. However, those living in mountainous regions tend to have plenty of water due to the high levels of rainfall that occur, so are unlikely to face water insecurity. Our second cause of water insecurity is geology. The type of rock in an area is an important factor in regards to water security. Aquifers need porous rocks. These are rocks that can absorb water. And if a rock is non-porous, it will not be able to be a groundwater store. This means if an area is dominated by non-porous rock, they will have a limited water supply. Our third cause of water insecurity is pollution. There are many reasons that water becomes contaminated, including raw sewage dumped into waterways, agricultural runoff from chemical fertilisers and pesticides, and toxic chemicals from industry that haven't been disposed of properly. Water contaminated with chemicals and bacteria is unsafe for human consumption, increasing the risk of waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid. In LICs, many people still have to use polluted rivers for their water needs, and as a result, many die premature deaths linked to a lack of access to safe water. Our fourth cause of water insecurity is over-abstraction. Over-abstraction means taking water from rivers, lakes or underground sources at such a rate that they cannot replenish. This leads to the water table sinking, wells becoming empty and rivers and lakes drying up. An example of this is Lake Chad in Africa that you can see on the screen. It has lost 90% of its water in recent decades due to over-abstraction for irrigation. The final cause of water insecurity that we're going to discuss in this video is limited infrastructure. Many low income countries have very little money invested into the infrastructure needed to provide and maintain a decent water supply. And this makes collecting and delivering water difficult. Even in high income countries, huge amounts of water are lost. 
In the UK, one fifth of all water is wasted through leakage, and it's the second biggest use of water after households. Dams and reservoirs are far too expensive, so communities in low-income countries are often reliant on small-scale projects such as hand pumps like the one on the screen. These are really effective at providing them with a safe water supply, however they only serve a small number of people. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the causes of water insecurity. Thank you for watching.